Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to focus or solo the frequency with re-EQ in Reaper. I have a track in front of me here with a snare, and it sounds like this. And I want to EQ it to bring out the low end energy in it and the top end crack. Now, as a quick review, this band over here is a high shelving. So if we boost it, it boosts that frequency all the way up. Or if we cut it, it cuts that frequency all the way up. And the same thing on the low end. If we boost it, it boosts that frequency on down. Or if we cut it, it cuts that frequency on down. But these two over here, or any other ones we create by double clicking, they're called band frequencies or parametric EQs. They're just gonna boost the frequency we choose. So if I boost right here, it just boosts this frequency and a little bit around it based on the bandwidth. If I hold down shift, we can adjust the bandwidth or how wide that boost or cut is. But to make it easier to find the frequency we want to use, we can solo that band and just hear that. I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. If we right click this band, we could switch it from band to band pass. They're only going to hear that frequency and nothing else. So we're basically soloing that band. So it'll make it easier to find the crack in our snare. Let's move it around and find it. Right about there feels right. Now we can right click it and switch it back to a band or a parametric EQ. Now we can boost it as we want. We could still add some high shelving to make it sound prettier, but the crack of the snare is right in here. Now let's say you wanted to add some weight or some beef to the snare. We could do that over here. But once again, let's solo this frequency by right-clicking, and choosing band pass. Then we can find the meat or the weight in the snare. Right about there feels good. Right click it and put it back to a band or parametric EQ. Then we can boost this to taste. Before and after. And this is going to work on any instrument we choose. For example, let's check out a guitar. On this track, I have a slide guitar, which sounds like this. But it sounds a bit muffly. So we want to bring out the aggressiveness in the guitar. So once again, we could right click on this and switch it to band pass and find the most aggressive or pleasing frequency to boost. Right about there feels good. Right click it and switch it back to band and just boost that frequency.
Now there's a bit of mud in the guitar, which is affecting its clarity. We could pull it out right over here. But let's first solo it by switching it to bandpass and find the frequency of that mud. You can kind of see it right over here. So we can cut that frequency by switching it back to band and cutting it. Before and after. Let's try the same thing with a vocal. Right now, it sounds like this. When the demons are gone And I'm left to myself to move on To bring out some clarity in the vocal, we can boost the upper mid-range. Let's find it with the same technique. Switch it to bandpass. When the demons are gone And I'm left to myself Right about there, feels good. Switch it back. When the demons are gone And I'm left to myself to move on We could bring up some high shelving. When the demons are gone And I'm left to myself to move on and We could also remove some mud Just like we did with the guitar Right click Bandpass When the demons are gone And I'm left to myself to move on and that focuses just on the mud. We can switch it back and cut at that frequency. When the demons are gone And I'm left to myself to move on Before When the demons are gone And after when the demons are gone And I'm left to myself to move on So it's a great way of focusing or really fine tuning any frequency we want to cut or boost. So that's pretty much it. That's how to focus or solo the frequency with re-EQ in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Thank you.